So I've just picked up a nice little uh, desktop 5 port um, gigabit Netgear um, Pro Plus switch. Um, this is a, a new model, a green edition that has 60% um, less energy consumption than uh, accessors. It's got a couple of nice little features on it, like a little power switch right at the back so you don't have to unplug the device, you can just flick the switch to turn it off. Um, each port's gigabit, and this one actually offers some, um, we'll call it light manage switch uh, functionality. Unfortunately, this doesn't come in a web interface. It comes in a little Windows application that you have to download and install using um, Adobe Air and uh, WinPCAP. And uh, here you can see the interface. We're just going to take a quick little tour of the interface. And specifically, we're going to look at one of the really nice features that this thing does, which is which is uh, port monitoring. Um, most switches, you, you have the problem for troubleshooting purposes, you can't uh, monitor all the traffic on all the various ports. Um, this little baby, however, you can, because we can configure um, which ports will mirror their, uh, their output to another port that we can use for troubleshooting diagnostic purposes. So when we get into the interface, um, pretty much it does a multicast uh, network scan picks up your devices on the network and here you can see I've got uh, three devices plugged into the first three uh, three ports and um, we essentially we can do some light VLANing as well uh, pretty much the VLANing in the QoS on this device is port based um, so you know it's it's nothing super super fancy but for a four port uh, a five port desktop switch um, Still, it's nice to be able to have this kind of functionality. As you can see, uh, ports one and two are um, already flashing with uh, heavy activity, and that's because I've got a, a NAS plugged in on the uh, port number three, the red cable, and port number one is uh, uplinked back to another switch where I've got a large um, file transfer uh, going on, pulling uh, data off of the uh, off of the NAS. So what we're going to do is go into the monitoring section over here and we're going to set up um, port mirroring so that on this computer that I'm using here we can um, do some troubleshooting and actually see those uh, packets that are coming in on uh, 1 and 3. So we go into mirroring over here, enable mirroring. And here I'm just going to select the ports. Um, well, I may as well select all of them. The idea is if you have a specific group of ports that you want to watch, um, you can select them here. And I'm going to have them echo to out to port 2. Now you can see all three of the ports are flashing with activity and uh, we've essentially just um, given this somewhat of a hub functionality on the uh, monitor port and now let's go uh, have a look in Wireshark see what it's telling us here start a Wireshark um, capture an Apple file talk um, transfer coming from the one address to the other address um, you saw here that our IP address is um, so here we can see the Apple talk file protocol um, with the payload details the address pretty slow due to the fact that we've got this um, so there you go our IP address is 103 and here we can see the source and destination are 135 and 138 so we are watching packets that are definitely not on the uh, the machine that we're uh, looking at 
So that's pretty, um, that's pretty nice from an administration point of view. This is a 45 euro uh, device, um, essentially, essentially fits between an unmanaged and a managed switch, um, 60 US dollars I think. So I think this is a pretty, pretty nice little uh, tool to have, whether it be at home uh, if you're a technical user or, um, or in the office. Thanks for watching.